Let's take a look at this, this photograph. I think it's a colorful world that we see, although it's in black and white. It's very lively, uh, it's very theatrical. What we see here is the garden of the Moulin Rouge in Paris in its beginning stage, in its early stages. This elephant was made for the Universal Exhibition of 1889, the same exhibition where the Eiffel Tower was made for. And in 1906, the elephant disappeared again because uh, the Moulin Rouge was rebuilt. When we think of the Moulin Rouge, I mean, nowadays, mainly tourists pay about 100 euros to visit shows there. In the early days, we think of a sort of ballroom and men with top hats were getting drunk. That's the image that we have uh, when we look at old paintings. But that there was a garden as well. And when we look at this hand-colored photograph of the Moulin Rouge, we see the red windmill, we see a sort of castle-like tower there on the left, which also gives it a sort of fairy tale appearance. But we also see the back of a giant elephant with a sort of little building on its back with windows. And his rear end had also two windows, I think, when I look at that. At the time of this photograph, there was a play or something, La Belle de New York. Inside the elephant there was a spiral staircase and only men were allowed to go in. They had to pay a, a single franc to enter and there was a belly dancer inside. Women weren't allowed there. Like I said before, it was made for the Universal Exhibition of 1889 in Paris. Uh, and we, here we see some images of that. I really like looking at those images of this exhibition. And all kinds of pa pavilions from all kinds of countries were there. Later on, in, in more recent years, uh, it has become very controversial the way that people from French colonies were in sort of human zoos. This elephant uh, was made for that exhibition as well and in researching this video I tried to find a photograph where it was visible somewhere but I couldn't find it so if, if someone finds a photograph of the Universal Exhibition of 1889 showing the elephant somewhere, please uh, mention it somewhere, write me an email or something, or mention it in the comments, because I really would like to see it. Here we see another picture of the Moulin Rouge with the elephant. Um, it, it fits perfectly in the colorful world of the Moulin Rouge. It looks very fairy tale like You see those dancers at that stage, those ba ballet dancers, there are colored lights. I can imagine that if you are visiting the Moulin Rouge late at night and you see that silhouette of that elephant and that stage with those dancers, that it must have been a very colorful, imaginative environment. A bit magical to, to be sitting there with friends, perhaps a love interest. <laughs> At a certain moment, there were even plans for a roller coaster at the Moulin Rouge. And this was before 1906, and I got the feeling that two eras collide here. You have this elephant of the Universal Exhibition, and you have this very modern looking roller coaster. Although there were roller coasters be before this in the 19th century, but looks a bit like there are two different times in one image here. Eventually the elephant disappeared. Uh, the Moulin Rouge was rebuilt in 1906. And here we see left of the windmill the empty space where once the elephant stood. I think many people must have missed that. 
I can imagine that if you are used to that elephant that you like that. The Moulin Rouge still exists nowadays, but the time that the elephant was there was a different era altogether. It was a transition of two centuries, 1889 until 1906. Uh, it was the time of the emergence of the modern world. It must have seen fun and fr frivolous banter, lovemaking, mini-dramas. It was part of an environment of, you know, where bankers and poets and washing ladies and painters and dancers could meet and dream away a little seemingly forever or at least for the night as long as the party lasted <laughs>